welcome to my tutorial on how to make a WordPress sales letter page on your WordPress site. Uh, the very first thing you're going to have to do is upload a WordPress sales letter theme and the ones we're going to use is mine and all you're going to do is log on to your website. Uh, you're going to navigate to your themes folder and you're going to find the themes that I have and I have one I'm, I actually put up. It's my WebBlue theme and from there I'm going to log off and go into WordPress admin panel. Okay, what I have to do is activate the theme so I'm going to click on appearance and then I'm going to see my theme down here and click on my theme. Okay, and my theme's activated. Once I've done that, I'm going to go to pages. I'm going to create a page. You can do posts or pages, but I prefer pages. Okay, I started the page uh, by adding the content. One, because I'm under time constraints. Uh, I have to do this under 10 minutes for YouTube. Okay, now the first thing I'm going to do is I need to add a title. And the title I actually have, so I'm going to just copy and paste. And I have this, so I'm going to copy and I'm going to paste. Okay, a lot of times, at least my sale letters, I have a pre headline. Here's my headline. I have a post headline, I call them. So to create these, it's very easy in this theme. And to do that, you scroll down to custom fields. I've created two custom fields. The first custom field is called prehead. I'm going to just get my header I want above my title. Okay, and I'm going to call that prehead. The next one I have is it's called posthead. That's going to be below the title. And to do that, I'm going to grab this headline. Okay, and we've done. Now what I'm going to do is I have to style it a little. What you have is your visual editor, and these are all the buttons initially when you sign into WordPress. If you click on this button, it's called Show High Kitchen Sink, you're going to see some more buttons. And the button I'm interested in is the paragraph, it's the header tags. Header tags make your type larger. Uh, or smaller. Uh, what I did is I made a special tag and I labeled it H6 so you can create a type that is red. It's a little larger. It's a, about the size of an H2 tag and it's underlined so you can draw attention to whatever you want to say. Now to use that I'm going to find my line that I want to uh, highlight and I'm going to go into paragraph, I'm going to go to header tag, I'm going to go to H6, and you're done. Okay, you'll see the changes when we update the page. Next thing I want to do is scroll down, see what else I want to style. And I see this, this I want to make into a t uh, testimonial box. And to do that, I use block quote, which is up here, and you click on that. And once you've done that, you've created a testimonial box for a testimonial. The next thing I'm going to do is I have an or unordered list, actually. So I'm going to highlight these four sentences, and I want to create an unordered list. So I just click this button. Oops. Okay, and you're going to see my unordered list. Scroll down a little more. Just so you know how to do the, the header tags, if I wanted to create an H1 tag, which is the largest one, I click on this. When I want to do an H2 tag, I just scroll down to H2. And that's it. Scroll down. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we have the copy. Uh, we want to sell it, so you need a Buy It Now button. Now to do a Buy It Now button is very easy. I'm going to click on uh, my image upload and the, the templates come with some Buy It Now buttons. So what I'm going to do is select uh, from a number of the Buy It Now 
button, so I'm going to click this one. Okay, I'm going to scroll down. You can fill in this with a title, your caption, your description. Down here, you're going to use a link, and what the link does is you're going to link it to your order page. So, uh, you could do HTTP. matter what you, whatever you want. Okay, and I'm going to click on center. I'm going to click on full size. Okay, and I'm going to click on insert. Okay. What I'm going to do now is I have a special tag that you can use to make a box around the, the buy it now button. So it, it looks sort of like this, that red box. And to do that, all I do is I use actually a custom uh, tag. And I'm going to scroll down. And the tags are actually done for you. This one is actually called Sales Box. Oops. Okay. And uh, that's it. Last thing I have, which you can use if you want another custom tag, it's called, I call it a highlighter or a highlight tag. It makes that yellow uh, background around words. And I'm going to just put it here and uh, just go quickly to see what I've done. good. I'm going to uh, update the page. Okay, and let's preview it. And that's it. And you have uh, a sales page. Okay, it has your title. It titles in red. Here's your pre-heading, pre-title, your post-title. Okay, you have or this is the H6 tag, you know, it's the, the subheader. This is your testimonial box. Here are your unordered lists, and it has a little check mark in front. This is another uh, preheader, or actually a subhead. This is your H1 tag, it's made in red and it will center. This is your H2 tag. Again, uh, it's, this one's black and it'll center. And these are for uh, 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 subheadings. This is your H3 tag, H4 tag, H5 tag. You can center those if you want yourself. This is your buy button. This is your little sales box around the buy button. You can put copy a uh, uh, price in there. And this down here is your highlighter uh, tag. So it's so easy to create a sales page. Now this theme actually has a navigation bar. Some of my themes do have the navigation bar. Some of them don't have the navigation bar. You, uh, it's your choice of which one you want to use. Okay, and that's it. So th thank you for looking.